hybridization techniques. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define the term hybridization, describe the objectives of hybridization in plants, explain the types of hybridization in plants, describe about the methods of handling the segregating generations. Healthy citizens are the greatest asset any country can have. This was stated by the late British Prime Minister Winston Churchill. For maintaining good health, we require food. Thus, food ranks first among the basic necessities of life. Although food is being produced to feed every individual all over the world, yet the demand for food keeps on increasing day by day. It is an alarming fact that millions of the global population do not get sufficient food to satisfy their hunger. Annually, about 11 million children under 5 years die of hunger or hunger-related problems. Apart from this, nearly 400 million people remain malnourished. What could be the reason for an increase in the demand of food? Everybody is aware about the increasing global population, as a result of which, most of the agricultural lands are being exploited for dwelling and commercial purposes, thereby decreasing the cultivation prospects, which in turn affects the food production. Production of good quality seeds is yet another big challenge in the agriculture territory that can create an impact on the overall yield. What could be done to control the chronic food shortage that troubles the entire world? There are only two possible ways. One is to decrease the population, which is extremely impossible. The other way is to improve and increase food production through the available technology advancements. For example, producing high-quality seeds that are superior to the parent. This is possible by inducing desirable characteristics into an existing variety so as to overcome its defects or weaknesses. Technically, this process is known as hybridization. In this lesson, we will be discussing on hybridization and its techniques in detail. Before proceeding to the concept, let us rewind the history of hybridization. History reveals that as early as 700 BC, Assyrians and Babylonians hand pollinated dead palms to create metaxanic effects of the pollen. The reproductive parts of the plants were discovered by Rodolphe Jacob Camerarius in the year 1694. The first artificial hybrid was Dianthus caryophyllus barbatus, also known as Fairchild's mule, produced by Thomas Fairchild by crossing Dianthus barbatus and Dianthus caryophyllus. Consequently, hybridization helped in various scientific studies for improving plant varieties. Notable examples include crossing of tobacco by Joseph Gottlieb Kohlreuter between 1760 and 1766, hybrid varieties of apples, pears, grapes, peaches and black currants were produced by T.A. Knight between 1759 and 1835. Sargaret, Charles Nowden, John Gauss and Carl Friedrich von Gautner noted uniformity in first generation variety F1. Dominance in F1 and separation and appearance of parental types in second generation F2. Later, around 1865, Gregor Mendel proposed the laws of inheritance. All these discoveries contributed to the scientific certification of the hybridization process. Hybridization is the process of crossing two genetically different species to create a heterozygous F1 variety. The main objective of hybridization is to produce genetic variations. The degree of genetic variation depends on the number of different types of genes present in the F1 parents. The generations obtained from crossing the F1 plants are often termed as segregating generations. Hybridization aims to create a new reservoir of genetic variation to enable further selection. Combine desired characters from several parents to produce a single variety. Exploit heterosis 
and use hybrid varieties. Hybridization is used to accomplish desired goals, such as combination breeding, transgressive breeding, hybrid varieties. Combination breeding Combination breeding is a process of transferring desirable genetic characteristics from one or more varieties to a single plant. This transfer enhances certain desired phenotypic characters of the offspring. For example, tiller number, grains per panicle, seed weight, etc. Types of combination breeding are back cross method and pedigree method. Transgressive breeding Transgressive breeding, otherwise referred to as transgressive segregation, involves production of individuals in F2 generation showing extremely superior characteristics than that of the parent plants. Pedigree method and population approach are designed to carry out transgressive breeding. Hybrid varieties Hybrid varieties can be denoted as the offsprings that results from the crossing of two different parents, either through combination or transgressive breeding. These hybrid varieties display superior quality when compared to that of the parents. Now, let us discuss about the various types of hybridization. Based on the taxonomy of the parents, hybridization can be categorized into two different types. They are intervarietal and distant hybridization. Intervarietal hybridization. It is denoted as the process through which two parents of the same species are crossed together to produce a new variety. Intervarietal hybridization can also be called as intraspecific hybridization. Example, hybrid rice variety TKM9 produced by crossing TKM7 and IR8. Intervarietal hybridization can be classified into simple cross, double cross and multiple cross. When two parents are crossed together, to produce F1 generation, it can be called as simple cross. Example, hybrid variety Romanasco broccoli produced from cauliflower, that is, Brassica oleracea botrytis, and broccoli, that is, Brassica oleracea italica. When two different F1 varieties are produced from two different parents, by crossing them together, it can be denoted as double cross. Example, Double cross variety of Rose Christine Dyer, that is Rosa Christine Dyer, between independence into happiness, into and peace into happiness. The three way cross involves crossing of two inbred parents with a third parent to produce a new progeny. Example Formation of orchid hybrids, Brasso Lelio Catlia between, that is Brassavola into Lelia into Cattleya. When more than two parents are crossed to produce hybrid varieties, it is referred to as complex cross or otherwise denoted as convergent cross. Example, Josta berry produced from Ribes nigrum, Ribes divaricatum, Ribes uva crispa. Distant hybridization. It is the crossing of different species among the same or different genera. This type of hybridization can be classified into interspecific and intergeneric hybridization. Hybridization involving plants from different species of the same genus is called interspecific hybridization. It is also called as intrageneric hybridization. Example, crossing Hibiscus syriacus melwhite and Hibiscus sinosyriacus lilac queen Hybridization involving plants from different genera is called intergeneric hybridization. Example, crossing C. kale cereal and triticum estivum to produce triticale. Hybridization is an essential procedure for crop improvement. Thus, the program involved in crop improvement is known as hybridization program. This program includes raising and handling of the segregating generations and advanced planning, raising of the segregating generations. A hybrid variety obtained as a result of crossing F1 generation 
may or may not show hybrid vigor. In such cases, different crosses must be adopted to raise different generations. Nevertheless, it requires more money, labor, land, and other facilities to raise different crosses of segregating generations, which are often limited. Handling of the segregating generations The crop improvement mainly relies on handling segregation generations obtained from the crosses. Among the different crosses made, proper selection method should be adopted. Selection must be carried out by reviewing both the qualitative and quantitative characters. However, selection based on quantitative characters is often difficult and time-consuming than selecting qualitative characters. Self-pollinated crops like wheat, pea and rice involve hybridization techniques like pedigree method, bulk method and back cross method. Pedigree method Pedigree refers to the selection of desired variety of plants from F2 generation and it is carried out till the selected varieties show null segregation. Often, this happens after the F6 generation. Nearly a span of 9 to 10 years is required to raise a new variety. The advantages of this method are that a new variety of plant with improved heritable characters can be released within a short span of time so that yield can be improved. Disadvantages Maintenance of pedigree records consumes more time. Further, natural selection is least possible here and desired success is based upon the skill of the laborers. Bulk Method It is one of the methods in which the outstanding F2 plants and their progenies are inbred in bulk until a new generation of homozygosity is achieved. In this method, selection of the plants is initiated from the F2 generation, wherein the plants showing genetic variations are harvested till homozygosity is achieved. The process is mostly carried out till the F6 generation. There are certain advantages and disadvantages in this method. Bulk method is simple, convenient and inexpensive. Natural selection is found effective in this method and hence adaptability to various climatic conditions can be improved. Further, it is well suited for small grain crops as bulk method have high crop densities. Desirable genotype characters can also be improved in this method. Disadvantages of this method are it consumes time to develop a new variety. It is tedious as large varieties have to be handled at the end of the bulking period. Back cross method. In this method, the hybrid variety and the subsequent segregating generations are back crossed to the parents to raise a new variety. Through back crossing, the genetic characters of the offspring will be similar to that of the recurrent parent. The main objective of this method is to decrease the defects of the high yielding variety. However, this method is mostly preferred for transferring disease resistance characters. Back cross procedure depends on whether the gene that is being transferred is recessive or dominant. Yield tests are not necessary to be performed in this method because of the known performance of the recurrent parent. This minimizes the overall time frame of the entire process to around 5 years. Disease resistivity can also be improved without affecting the performance of the plant. However, the new variety obtained will not be superior to the recurrent parent. Further hybridization has to be done for each back cross, which consumes more time. Advanced planning Nearly 7 to 8 years is required for the development of a new plant. A plant breeder should therefore foresee the requirements to accomplish plant breeding techniques effectively. Further awareness about the different crop species available, climatic variations, requirements in the market, existing varieties and the suitability of hybridization program is also necessary. Summary Let us now recap what we have learned. 
Hybridization is the process of crossing two genetically different species to create a heterozygous F1 variety. Hybridization can be categorized into two types as intervarietal and distant hybridization. The crop improvement mainly relies on handling segregation generations obtained from the crosses. Self pollinated crops involve hybridization techniques like pedigree method, bulk method, and back cross method. 